Hello, welcome back. My name is Nate, and I'm going to be going over the Acvis Smart Mask software version 11.0. Thanks for coming. What we're going to do is just go over some of the basic features of how to use uh, this software program, uh, how to uh, cut out background images and you know add a different image in there uh, from a, maybe a simple uh, example and then a, a little bit more complicated example. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So the first thing you wanna do uh, when you have the software system or the uh, smart ma mask uh, software open is you want to click on that icon there to bring up your image and i think we're going to start with something basic here we'll start with this flower and uh so this this photo has a really uh you know basic background uniform so th this is a you know, really easy example what we're going to do is hit the chroma key here and bam just like that it's selected all the background out showing us in a view model in white or on white and we're going to hit OK and just like that the Acvis software has removed that background uh, from this photo very simple um, next I'm going to um, just add a different background image so here let me show it we're going to select this image button here and I'm going to select these, this kind of crystal background it brings up that image and then I can come in and drag that to select it over the area that I want it to be in and hit OK and here we go in just a couple minutes we've taken out one background from the photo image with the software and put in another um, uh, and th another thing you can do here is that there's this button called refine edges. So if I click that, I can you know add some feathering or contrasting um, to kind of help transition one image from the other. I'm hit OK, and uh, as you can see, it adds a little bit of transition to that that image. So just some of the basics there, but yeah, it's really effective in taking out the that background and then allowing you to put in. A different image great for all sorts of uh, photography uh, ideas where you want to change out background from one image to the other let's do a little bit more complicated one so let's pull up um, this butterfly all right so what I want to do here is I want to see if I can take out this the background and leave this flower and butterfly uh, image um, in the photo and then put in a different background so first thing we're going to do is uh, select the auto button up here and that gives you a, a pane where um, you can have some features where you can take the part of the photo that you want to keep in and select it and then draw lines on the rest of the photo that you want to take out so the first thing we'll do is uh, click on this keep area pencil and I'm going to use this and just try to quickly draw around this flower and butterfly indicating I want to keep this area in the photo. All right, we got that done. So the next uh, option that we want to select is the drop area pencil. So I'm going to click on this. What I want to do is I want to draw lines over the areas of the photo that we want to remove. And I've kind of found that you want to make sure you draw, especially through some of the more complicated parts of the photo, helps that come out. And again, this is in the auto mode, so it's pr 
probably not gonna be a hundred percent perfect but it's gonna get rid of quite a bit of what we don't want in the photo okay so that is all the keep area is out selected all right so once you have the keep in drawn and you have the keep out drawn you're going to want to just hit this play button here and the software system will then start processing this photo uh, selecting the parts that you want to keep in and uh, removing those red hash areas that you want to take out and this usually just takes a uh, just a f usually about a uh, few seconds uh, to pull that up and there we go so as you can see it, it wasn't perfect but it did take out quite a bit of the photo that we didn't want to have in there now you can you can keep running the keep tools and kind of select things with the red arrows keep going that way but where I what I like to do at this point is switch over to uh, manual mode so I'm gonna click manual and now we have some new options of what we can use to uh, take out parts that we are still here that we want to remove. So first I'm going to take the quick selection tool. This is kind of like the magic wand in Photoshop. Let me go through and just click on some of these areas here. I've got the tolerance fairly low, so that's going to help me take out these fine edge areas here as well. So, yeah. So we have that option. And then the next thing I'm going to look at is let's turn the tolerance up here a little bit. Let me have this eraser tool that allows me to come in and erase these areas that I do not want. I'm going to turn up a little bit farther. Okay, so now another thing that's kind of nice I've noticed is um, if you accidentally like just erase a little bit of the butterfly there, you've got this other button here that will, um, it's called the history brush and it will allow you to just draw that back in. So if you erase too much, you can go to that history brush and just put it right back into the area and then of course I can hit the control plus and I can move in look at maybe getting out a few more of these little areas been spend quite a bit of time going through this to keep this video short we won't make this perfect but yeah as you can see in just a short amount of time we've uh, pulled out the um, the portion of this that we are hoping to remove and then kept in the butterfly and flower that we were hoping to keep so let's zoom back out um, so a little more touches we could do but uh, for the most part we've got what we want and now um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select a photo And just like we did with the flower and crystal, I'm gonna pull that photo in and uh, hit OK. And there you go. We've uh, in just a couple minutes uh, removed the background image on that butterfly and flower and uh, added a new image uh, that we wanted to put in there to kind of mix it up. So in a nutshell, that's kind of the 
very basics of the Acvis Smart Mask. Um, <laughs> great software tool. Uh, I will leave a link uh, to this software program at the in the description. And uh, if you want to check it out, you can click on that link and they'll give you a 10 day trial where you can try everything for free. It's the full features and see if you like it. So get a chance to check it out. Thanks for taking time with me and hope you've learned a little bit about uh, this great program. Actus Smart Mask version 11. Thanks again. <laughs>